1989 French Open champion Michael Chang turned 50 in February this year, but a whole lot has happened since his retirement two decades ago. Let's take a look at his lifestyle, biography, and life after tennis. From turning pro at only 15 years of age to becoming the youngest ever male Grand Slam winner in tennis history, Michael Chang did the impossible during his tennis career, thanks to a supportive family and a sophisticated talent repertoire. Despite being one of the shortest on tour, Michael ended the American French Open drought by becoming the first American male to win the tournament in 1989 at the age of 17. From there, it became a constant battle against other American tennis players, Jim Courier, Andre Agassi, and Pete Sampras in the 90s. Michael Chang won 34 major singles titles during his career, reached four Grand Slam finals, albeit winning only one, and also reached a career-high singles rank of second in the world of 1996. By the time he retired in 2003, he had already earned his place in history as one of the fastest players on the circuit. Possessing a strong return and all-court game, and by 2008, he was inducted into the International Tennis Hall of Fame. With 662 career victories and more than $19 million won in prize money, not including product endorsements throughout his professional career, Michael Chang has become an inspiration for many folks over the world. But how do we know about the tennis legend following his retirement from the professional tour? Here's what we know. Lifestyle Michael Chang has been very vocal about his Christian faith, often attributing his success to God, saying that his Christian faith is his first priority in his life and that he's going to give glory to God where due. Despite acknowledging that his outspoken beliefs could be a touchy subject, he remains a devout Christian. Chang maintains a relatively low profile at his Orange County residence in California. He doesn't seek the spotlight, however, he wouldn't hesitate to accommodate the demands that come with his status. Chang also prioritizes his health. He eats his food before 9 p.m. every night and does not smoke. But let's take a deeper look into his life after tennis. Life after tennis. Shortly after his professional career as a player, Michael tried his hands on tennis commentary, but uh, didn't quite work out. He then placed more focus on one of the things he knew how to do best, charity. The Chang Family Foundation. Michael Chang has always been into charities. In 1994, he served as the chairman of ATP Tour Charities. He showed his eagerness to support grassroots tennis development in Asia through his Stars of the Future program in Hong Kong and the Reebok Challenge. He was also named on the most caring athlete list by USA Today in 1995. Already close to his retirement in 1999, his family established the Chang Family Foundation to promote Christianity through local and international youth programs. The programs focus on sports and Asian outreach events and also serve as the primary contact of the Chang family for community requests. The foundation often partners with other organizations with similar interests and visions. The Chang Family Foundation takes up a huge chunk of Michael's time with the Christian Sports League Ministry and the annual Michael Chang Tennis Classic, the two biggest platforms on the foundation in Southern California. The Michael Chang Tennis Classic is a USTA-sanctioned charity tennis tournament held every year and proceeds from the event go towards charity. He also sees the event as an avenue to encourage Asian players to step up to the challenge. CMCB Enterprises the Chang family is also invested in commercial real estate. They created the CMCB Enterprises and invested lots of money into real estate and shopping malls all over the Southwest in Arizona, California, Colorado, and Texas. Apart from his foundation and business ventures, Michael also spends much of his time coaching. Coaching. Michael had a brief stint as the coach of former world number one doubles player Peng Shui in 2007. Although she failed to get past the early stages of the Australian and US Open singles tournaments that year, she was able to beat former world number one Martina Hingis at the China Open. She also secured a doubles title in Guangzhou alongside a top 10 win. Michael would eventually split with the Chinese player in November that year because he could no longer cope with her travel demands. He however left the door open to the player if she ever needed any advice on her techniques and psychology. Peng Shui would eventually retire and with 23 doubles titles, two singles titles, and a peak world number 14 singles ranking. Unlike his contemporaries, coaching was never really part of Chang's career plans. But all that changed after Japanese player Kei Nishikori's team approached him with the idea in 2012. The pair had previously met a year before when they played an exhibition match in Japan. Chang fancied the idea of mentoring the young man who shared Asian roots and even height challenges with him. By January 2014, shortly after the birth of his second daughter, Chang had become Nishikori's coach and led him to a breakthrough year where he reached the US Open Finals to reach a Grand Slam tournament. Nishikori then reached a career-high world number four the following year. Under Chang's tutelage, Nishikori gained the habit of taking time away from opponents by hitting balls earlier without compromising consistency, which is reminiscent of Andre Agassi. 
Also, an unusual style of hitting powerful ground strokes makes it difficult for opponents to anticipate the direction of the ball, and a solid return of serves makes Nishikori one of the best on his day. The player said this about Michael Chang. He has given me so many great things that helps me to raise my level. Always, he has given me good motivation and little things I am missing. Nishikori also added that he spends time with Chang and his family, claiming that while his coach might be tough on the court, he is very calm and easy to hang out with off the court. Four-time Grand Slam winner Jim Courier, with whom Chang had an epic 12-12 rivalry, also shared his thoughts, saying Michael has clearly added some mental and physical toughness to Kay's already formidable skill set. Currently, Chang is still part of Nishikori's entourage and spends about 25 weeks every year with the player, supplying scouting notes via emails. Chang's time on the ATP Tour doesn't stop him from spending a lot of time with his family. Family Life The New Jersey-born legend Chang got married to former professional tennis player Amber Liu in 2008, the same year he got inducted into the International Tennis Hall of Fame. Born on July 6, 1984, Amber attended Stanford University, where she was a two-time NCAA singles champion in 2003 and 2004 while studying economics. She interned at Goldman Sachs after her studies while continuing to play tennis. Her best singles ranking was world number 241. Amber decided to pursue her studies rather than a career in tennis. Michael has talked about how he shares many things in common with his wife, saying, It's been wonderful. Amber is such a great wife. We have so many things in common and it's been so much fun. In our mentality, in our approach to life, it's nice to be on the same page with one another. Not much is known about the couple's kids. However, they have three young children. The eldest is Lani Chang, was born in 2010, male in 2013, and their son in 2015. Male is a nine-year-old golfer and a two-time US Kids regional champion. Carl, Michael's brother and coach until his retirement, is the owner of Pyology, a fast, casual pizza chain restaurant in California. But that's not all. Carl also founded Redwood Real Estate Partners, a real estate firm with plans to buy residential properties worth $500 million with Seattle-based investment firm Siena Group in 2005. The role of the family in Michael's life was evident throughout his career, with both his parents and his brother actively involved. Despite being American, Michael's family do not forget their Asian roots. Every year, he takes his family to visit one of the South Asian countries. He also loves watching movies with his family. Apart from spending his time on charities, coaching, and with his family, Michael does other things. He published a book about his career, Holding Serve, Persevering On and Off the Court, in 2002. Michael remains an active participant in the ATP Legends Tour. He has also said that golf and fishing are his two favorite sports after tennis. Net worth Michael Chang has a net worth estimated to be around $30 million, with most of his earnings coming from the time he spent on the ATP Tour. Currently, he makes about $3 million every year. His net worth allows him to live comfortably. Not much is known about his taste for cards and luxury personal items. However, Michael has said that he prefers being driven to driving himself. Back in 2016, when he was invited by Mark Webber to test the new Porsche 718 Boxster S at the Tennis Grand Prix in Stuttgart, after the test drive, Michael Chang seemed speechless, saying, oh boy, when he got out of the car. He went further to add, I need some fresh air. Incredible how Mark keeps the car under control. Seemed like a memorable experience for the tennis legend who was Mark Webber's childhood hero. Michael's net worth allows him to live the life that he always dreamed while being surrounded by family and friends. As of 2019, he has listed his California residence for $8 million. The Mediterranean-style mansion is situated in the private community of Coto de Casa in Orange County. The house was built in 1990, just a year after his French Open victory before going through a series of renovations. It features two tennis courts, a pool with a spa and waterfall, three putting greens, a half basketball court, a fire pit with built-in seating, a koi pond, a gated entry, a six-car garage, and a built-in barbecue area with a new countertop and sink. Looks like Michael doesn't have the worst taste. The property spans over 9.5 acres and 10,200 square feet of interior space with a total of nine bedrooms and seven bathrooms. Michael has managed to keep his home very private and secluded. Chang also owns a home on Mercer Island, Washington. Throughout his life, Michael Chang has shown passionate dedication to tennis, family, and his Christian faith. He remains a true champion of the sport and a mentor to many people all over the world. 33 years after making history, the scrawny kid who dropped out of school to swing the tennis racket remains an inspiration. Equally as impressive as his career is his transition into a retirement that only a few can dream of. How well do you think Michael Chang has performed since his retirement? Comment below.